We all need to eat a healthier breakfast, but no one has a lot of time in the morning. So this blueberry coconut oatmeal bake is the perfect solution. You put all the ingredients in one tin, put it in the oven, and then you can eat it and enjoy it for days to come. We're gonna start with a grated apple. This is one grated apple. And I tend to like Braeburn apples because they're very crisp and tart, but if you prefer a sweet apple, you can use that also. Then put your porridge oats in. These are regular porridge oats. You can also get gluten-free porridge oats if you are gluten-free. And then I'm gonna add my dry ingredients. So this is desiccated coconut, and you'll see with a lot of the ingredients I'm talking about today, you can always buy versions that have added sugar. You don't wanna do that. Coconut is sweet and delicious as it is, so you wanna get no added sugar desiccated coconut. Now we're gonna add these deliciously aromatic spices. This is nutmeg and cinnamon. Next we add the nut butter. This is peanut butter today that I'm using, but you can also use almond butter. In both cases, buy almond butter or peanut butter that doesn't have additives, added palm oil, added sugar. You just don't need it. You just want the nuts ground up. Then coconut oil, which is going to bind it all together two tablespoons of that. Now you can see that this is in its liquid form. On a cold day, if you had this in your cupboard, it's going to be very hard. You can still use it, but it's better to leave it out on the counter or near the stove for a bit so that it liquefies. And then maple syrup. Then we have almond milk. This also is unsweetened almond milk. It looks delicious and it smells amazing. The nutmeg and the cinnamon really gives it a nice warm smell. And then we're gonna add two eggs. And we're gonna whisk those up and add them to the mix. Okay, and pour that in. So now is the time to give that a really good stir, get everything mixed together. You want those aromatic nutmeg and cinnamon spices to be throughout the mixture. Then put your blueberries into the mixture. These are beautiful fresh blueberries. All right, that's all mixed up. Then what you're going to do is use a tin like this, and I always use parchment paper because it makes for very easy cleanup. And I've just lined the parchment paper with a little bit of coconut oil, the same coconut oil that you've used in the recipe, and that just makes absolutely sure that nothing's going to stick. Gently just be sure that it's covering the entire tin and that it's level, and that's how simple it is. Now you're just gonna put it in the oven, and in 30 minutes it will be done. So once you've baked it for 30 minutes, bring it out and let it cool completely before cutting it. And your oats should be golden brown and those blueberries really looking jammy. It looks delicious. This is super easy to make. All we did was stir it up in a bowl, put it in a tin and in the oven. It's a great way to start your morning or treat yourself throughout the day.